Hi everybody, my name is Terry and this is the Catholic Breakdown. On Twitter, Alexis says hi asks, why is missing mass a mortal sin? Alexis, thank you for your question and your constant antagonizing me on Twitter. While you are personally a pain, your question is insightful. So why is missing mass a mortal sin? In a previous video, we went over what constitutes a mortal sin. A mortal sin is three conditions. It has to be a big deal, you have to know it's a big deal, and you have to fully and willingly consent. For a sin to be a big deal, we generally turn to the Ten Commandments found in Exodus 20. These generally include do not kill, do not steal, do not commit adultery, etc. The third commandment is, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. The scriptures further continue that God worked for six days and rested on the seventh, and he blessed the Sabbath and made it holy. In Leviticus 23, we see Moses establish the Sabbath as the festival of the Lord. In Deuteronomy 12, we see that we should seek out the place the Lord has established and bring our offering. Throughout the Old Testament, we see that the Sabbath is a holy day that we should all meet in one place and bring our offerings to the Lord. From Luke's Gospel, we see one of many examples where going to synagogue on the Sabbath was the norm. In Luke 6, on the Sabbath, Jesus is at the temple teaching, and the Pharisees are watching to see if he'll heal a man so they can accuse him. They didn't care that he was teaching. That was the norm back then. This tradition was continued after our Lord was crucified, died, and rose from the dead. In the New Testament, we see the importance of meeting together over and over again. Acts 2 talks about the importance of communal life, meeting together to break the bread. Hebrews 10.25 says that we should not stay away from assembly, which is a reference to the earliest days of Mass. These first Christians, in keeping with the laws of the Lord, established the Mass. The first Sunday services they held were Catholic Masses, complete with the Eucharist. And these first Christians, especially the Apostles, knew the Lord Jesus Christ in a much more intimate and physical way than we could ever learn in this lifetime. What they established is as close to the truth as we're ever going to get. And lucky for us, they wrote it down in the scriptures. The importance of coming together in a community is mentioned again and again. The Lord wants us to be together. We're social creatures. Moreover, a community setting builds a place of accountability to obey the commands of the Lord. When I was younger, I didn't believe that you had to go to church to be a good Christian. And I wouldn't go all that regularly. Or at all. And during these times, I became very non-Christian with my actions. Now, what I did is between me and my priest, but I definitely did some stuff. And the correlation I saw was that the longer I was away from Christian communities, the easier I fell into deep, dark sin. When I became Catholic, I started going to Mass regularly. I noticed changes in my life. I sinned way less because I was held accountable. I was able to further build my relationship with God. I was able to study more and become a better witness of God's love and mercy. The church is a hospital for the sick, and we are all sick. If we weren't, we would have been called home already. God knows we need each other. That's why he commanded us to remember the Sabbath, to keep it holy, and to go to Mass. He put it in the Ten Commandments. That's why missing Mass is a mortal sin. And I know that sometimes we can fall out of love with the Mass. Sometimes it's just hard to get up and go. Our continued attendance helps build our Christian lives. It's also worth noting that the Eucharist, the center of our faith, is only available at the Mass. Nothing else on earth can bring you closer to Jesus than the Mass. The Eucharist is Jesus, our Lord and God, who we live for and love. Why would we ever want to miss a Mass? So we should go to Mass because that's what the Lord has called us to do. But we should want to go to Mass because it helps us become the people of faith we're called to be. God bless and get a colonoscopy.